Well, welcome back to Target Field. It is the father's trip for the Royals, third annual, and making his second appearance is Joe Vargas, who just watched his son pitch a very good first inning. And as we watch Eric Hosmer stepping in, we'll get a chance to visit with Joe. I saw you pump the fist after that caught stealing there. First off, how much fun is it to be able to watch your son pitch in person, and, and how are the nerves? Uh, you know, the, the nerves have calmed down quite a bit since, you know, we first started. And that's probably just because you see it over and over again. But you still get nervous. There's still butterflies in your stomach. Uh, and being able to watch your kid center stage in front of, you know, thousands of fans, the dream come true, you know, next to actually playing in it. So for me, uh, I've just been blessed. First off, we'll give you credit there for the first hit of the game. Jason, by the way, well, that'll be a good segue, was quite the hitter in college that really comping or similar to Troy Tulowitzki, his teammate, right? Yes. Yeah, actually, he led Long Beach in hitting at that during his junior year in, in Long Beach. And actually, I thought he was going to be drafted as a hitter. What I thought he should have been is, is a hitter. Um, he was probably one of the best hitters I've ever seen in, you know, the 20-plus years that I was coaching. And kind of like deep down, I kind of, was hoping he would be a, a hitter but hey it is what it is and he's there now and I can't complain no he's had a really good career and, and I always see him as being so calm out there you talked about nerves and getting easier now it's much different when you're sitting and watching versus playing but has he always been that calm kid he always has uh, you know all, all the days that I saw him play through Little League on through even now pros I've never seen him lose his cool or get emotional in a negative way. You're always going to have your emotions when you're happy. And, you, you know, something happens like going to the World Series, the playoffs. But he's always been one to be able to temper his uh, emotions. And that's one thing that we talked about quite a bit when he was growing up is you let your emotions control you in a game like baseball. Uh, it's just not going to be good, you know, for either himself or the team. Well, we saw him take part with such a great team last year and back off the DL doing well right now and then you get a chance to share this with him and it, it, it's so cool seeing some of the dads that are here for their first time for you it's the second how, how unique of an experience is this from a dad's perspective are you talking about the trip it's the a, trip yeah oh the trip is uh, you know unbelievable you get to go and do some things that there aren't too many clubs that do this that I'm that I'm aware of. I think the only other club that I know of is in hockey that does it and it's just I mean for all the dads to be able to come here and share the kind of like the inner circle of the team you know be in the clubhouse uh, traveling on the bus with them traveling on the team you know the inner workings of the personnel you know during a plane ride it, it's just all fantastic it's the royal treatment pun intended with that the flights the food the batting practice you guys will take batting practice tomorrow and Kendris Morales just took batting practice and that is a home run Joe Vargas getting a little support for your son that was hey, well timed I mean uh, you know Kendris you know has been a godsend to this team you know RBI machine hitting you know close to 300 he comes in in key situations and drops a load like that what more could you ask for and hey you know what he's supporting my my son tonight so that's great love it keep it going joe we appreciate the visit enjoy the week week and a half hud we might have another analyst here oh he was outstanding i like it morales dropped a load believe it right there in the upper tank